I'm gonna be real with y'all. In the beginning stages, I wouldn't engage it that way. Cause like, you gotta pay your dues. So you might have four years that you're just not the happiest person with what you're doing, but you gotta pay them dues. So I'm saying that from the perspective of somebody who's been doing it 12 years. Where my money at and where we having the most fun at? Cause I'm a big kid at heart. But in the beginning stages, I, I ain't gonna lie, entrepreneurship kind of found me. I accidentally stumbled across what I stumbled across. And I was like, damn, I can make a lot of money with this. All right, say less, we here. And then I put out a book because I love to write and became a best-selling author in like two days. And I was like, okay, now we here. And then I went viral in the world. It's like, we want to see what you teach your children. Made my first curriculum, made a couple dollars off of that, went there. Then I came out with the board game, made like $8 million off of that, went there. And then we jumped back with courses, curriculum, post the, the whole of anybody that followed me the whole post-Trump era, we made like, we cracked it for like 13 million and I went there. And then my, my man in China, that my project manager was like, uh, what you wanna do next? I'm like, let's take it to PS5, Xbox, PC. And now we're here. So yeah, for me, it's just, I ain't gonna lie, I just go with the wind. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm not really like a super planner. Like I plan, I got foresight, I plan for the future. Like we gonna get there, but I ain't gonna lie to tell y'all know how we gonna get there, but we gonna get there because I just don't take no for an answer. Yes. So the sum of your, your question is, it's kind of hard to narrow it down when you're an entrepreneur because your brain just spinning 24 hours. I'm not gonna lie, uh, since me and D, like, you know, um, part ways from our nine to fives, like every day, Never a dull moment. So it's hard to narrow it down. We got the movies, we got the film, we got the this, we got that, we got the YouTube. So we just entrepreneur brain just it's hard to narrow down on one thing because when that's not rolling, you can kick back over here, kick this on this road and kick back away. That's entrepreneurship, you know. So it's uh I'm not gonna lie, if you don't have the mental for entrepreneurship, it's best to just have a nine to five because the entrepreneurship is not easy. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears walking around and, and around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, everybody is not, everybody not. And if anybody got a problem, you can have a nine to five. You can pay bills, tell them that. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that matters, you know, you can pay your bills. So don't let it discourage you because you work a nine to five and you got other people's entrepreneurship, you think like, oh no, I can't do that. It's not really that, it's just like, if you're an entrepreneur, you just gotta do certain things, and different things that a person that has a regular job does, and that's just what it is. Uh, one last thing. This is really important. I, I probably, I'll say somewhat. I went to Hove House, and uh, his house is about the size of this hotel. And I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I'm talking about property, everything. About the size of this hotel. He's like, I know you want, you want to ask me about a hundred million. And he didn't, no, that, I didn't indicate that. I didn't text him that. No, for real. He's like, you gotta know where your ten million come from first. I know you make, well, where do it come from? I'm like, well, I do this, I do this. How much in each trunk? How much of the 10 million do you keep? How much do it, meaning how much do it cost you to make $10 million? We understand you get money, you'll get money as they will, all that, that's clout. That ain't gonna make it. And he set me down and it, it was like a gut punch because I couldn't understand where the $10 million came from. And I couldn't remember where the shit went. I know some of it went on tour with him, cause he ain't paid me to go on tour. <laughs> but he sitting on a billion, and I'm staying in the same hotels he's staying at, taking first class flights. It wasn't smart, and I had to learn the process. So sometimes going into this thing, you gotta jump in the middle of the ocean, cause can't nobody teach you how to be a fish. You gotta get them with the fishes. You feel me? So sometimes you're gonna bump your head, like they were saying. Bro, the doctor said, you know, he he seen what happened to his act because of his actions. You're gonna see too. We all gonna have to see cause and effect, the law of karma, cause and effect. What happened when we jump out here and get our head busted open? So I had to figure out what 10 million really looked like. Ho said he keeps 27% of every dollar he makes. The biggest Billionaires in the world keep about eight. He was ahead of them on track to be a billionaire. Now it's changed because of information, but 
You gotta jump in to see what don't work for you. Right. right. That's it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep quick this time, but uh, just want to share with someone else out here as well. It may don't want to kind of confuse it too much, but follow your passion and then find out. Follow your passion, as I said before, and that vision, and find out if it can work into a business. Sometimes our passion ain't a business. You know, it's just it's not a business that you can't really find a commerce. But if you can find the combination of the two, you'll find yourself very successful in life. That's really what it's all about. So that would be my. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real quick. Uh, whatever keeps you up at night, mm. yeah, learn down. All right, whatever keeps you up at night, because you get y'all get invested, y'all get invited to two separate things. You got you got social media, you got no social media. See, I came to visit with no social media, right? And so you got social media. Things seem to happen quicker with social media. We dream a little too big when we on social media. And think about numbers and being rich. You're rich, whatever your number is. Right? It don't matter if eight million around none of that, you're rich, whatever your number is. Right? So whatever keeps you up at night, that's how you narrow it down. Like I love theater. That keeps me up at night. That's why no one is gonna jump. Like I'm ready to compete with the Tyler Perry, Jakarta Johnson's, and I'm from Washington, DC. Because, you know, that keeps me up at night. And so my rich, my rich is not a number. You know, my rich is not a number. My rich is my peace. And my rich is uh, my people, my love. For my people, see my people come up. That's why I feel rich. When I walk out of everybody, get inspired by me, that's my rich. I don't look at numbers no more. Like I'm really an OG. So I've seen the money. We talk about the savings, I've seen all that.